really important. It is really important to update the graphics card if you want a good performance, especially in gaming or in editing videos and everything. You require a latest graphics driver on your computer. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to update any graphics driver like Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, or any other graphics you have. This will be very simple and very easy to do it. So we need to know what is the date of that graphics driver which is installed in our computer. So for that, just do a right click and then go to device manager. Once the device manager is opened, we are looking for display adapters. So I can see the display adapter right here and I'll click on that. Now, the moment I click on this display adapters, I can see I have Intel UHD graphics, right? So in your case, you might have AMD graphics or um, NVIDIA or Intel. So I'll just do a double click. I'll just do a right click and I'll go to properties. Now, once we're here in the properties, I'll go to driver section and here we go. We know the date, the driver date. You also need to have a look. What is the driver date? So I can see it's 2022, 20th of Jan, All right? So if there is a possibility, if there is an option to update it, if there is a availability of the driver, I'll try to update my driver from here and I'll click on search automatically for drivers. If that doesn't work, if it says the best driver is already installed, then what I would recommend is copy this Intel REUHD graphics. So I'll open the browser. You can open any of the browser, whichever you like, and I'll type Intel REUHD graphics. And I'll just hit enter. Now here, I'll go to, I'll also type driver. And I can see Intel is there. I'll just click on that. So here it says, let us, ident let us identify your product and update your drivers. So I'll click on get started. So it will, you can install the Intel driver support in assistant and you can download. And the best part is, it will automatically detect which graphics you have and it will try to update your graphics card. So that is a very good thing. Now, let's say if you're using a AMD driver, then you can do the same process, like just do a right click and try to update after checking the date, driver date. And if that doesn't work, then type AMD auto detect. You just need to type AMD auto detect and hit enter and you will see the auto detect and install Raiden GPU drivers amd.com. Please make sure you only visit AMD website. So I'll click on that and here I get auto detect and install AMD Raiden and I'll just close some of the things. How to get drivers using the AMD driver auto detect tool. So I'll click on that and I'll scroll down and I see download and setup. It says how we can download and how we can install it. Now here it says install is available on driver and support page. I'll just click on this link and I have got auto detect and install for Windows 10 or Windows 11. So it's for the Windows and it's for the Linux. So I'll click on download now and I can updated. You can also have a look here if you know which graphics you have. You can click in the graphics and from here you can check which series it is and then you can download specifically. So that is also can be done. So once it is done, you just need to restart the computer. I mean it's a very easy process. You just need to click next few times and the AMD driver will be installed. Now the best part is once you will update your graphics card and if you have this query why I'm not able to update it then this will help a lot and overall the performance the slowness uh, if it's lagging while playing the games it will help a lot.
right so once this is done let's go for the nvidia one and here i'll type nvidia graphics driver and i'll hit enter now i'll get the result nvidia.com download this is the best way to download the drivers because i have all the laptops as i'm working in it support so i have i have to update i used to update a lot of different types of um, graphics so i usually do the same so i'm sharing the same steps which i do in my office so here i click on nvidia.com download drivers and you will see nvidia driver download now it nvidia also have a auto detect but that doesn't work so this is why we are going to download the manual graphics driver so i'll select the product type so if it's geforce nvidia rtx you can select that and what type of series it is notebook series quadro series fx series you can select that and which operating system you have so here you can select windows 8 windows 7 if you're using a windows 11 computer you can select windows 10 no worries now what is the download studio uh, download type so i'll recommend not to change anything just select product branch and studio and you can change the language of your driver from here so if, if you want japanese korean or any other language you can select that and you just need to click on search now the moment you do it you will see the release date here so you need to check as you have already checked the driver date here as you have already checked the driver date here match with the date which is the release date if it's latest then download it and if it's not then let it be like that because that the graphics driver which you're using that that is already the latest driver now there are so many drivers which uh, doesn't give you update after four or five years see the graphics which i have here i mean just the example which i have taken their last release date was 2016 so please make sure at least you have the last release date update all right so it, it doesn't matter it's not like that that every driver they, uh, you know, NVIDIA, AMD or Intel gives you a version because once they stop the product, they don't uh, give the drivers update. So that's their final. So as far as this um, graphics card is concerned, this is the final day, the release date. So you can download that. Right. So once this is done, restart the computer and then see the performance of your computer. And you can also change the screen resolution because I have seen many people, they do not have uh, the graphics driver and overall look and feel is very bad. So for that, just do a right click and go to display settings. And then go to display resolution. And here we need to click on recommended one. So if it's there, 1280 by 800, or 1280 by 1024, you can select the maximum. Higher the resolution, higher the quality. So you can also do that. And I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And guys, if your computer is running slow, then you will see a video at the end screen. And you can watch that tutorial. This is, that is very helpful. And it will definitely boost up the performance of your computer and make your PC faster. So I hope you have successfully updated your graphics card. And if you have liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe and also leave a comment. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.